I think it's George Bernard Shaw who said, if I have one apple and you have one ha apple and we exchange it, we each only still have one apple. But if I have an idea and you have an idea and we exchange it, we might come up with more than two ideas. Because I think that's the beauty of science and about scholarly work is that the whole intent is to come up with solutions. There's so many questions out there. And that's what open access helps you achieve is access to the information so you can make the best decisions. So I think that open access is a relatively new social movement in term, and scholarly movement relative to traditional publishing, which has kind of taken over from the public to the private since World War II. And I guess we were asleep at the wheel when this happened. We missed this, that all of our public resources and our science is go getting concentrated into private hands. And the publishers are making a ton of money on the science that we're producing. That's often publicly funded. The research libraries are going bankrupt trying to pay for all these journals because they're very expensive and they're becoming more and more expensive. There are emerging data suggesting that if you publish in open access venues or if you self-archive in your institution, those contributions are being cited more frequently because people can access the information more readily. The whole reason we do science or we do anything scholarly is to disseminate information to add a piece to a puzzle that's out there. We have a question, we try to answer it the best we can. So I think the struggle for graduate students is that they need to have their um, research outputs, their publications be recognized as being valued and high impact because that garners more weight in terms of looking at promotion and particularly for junior faculty because they want to be promoted. So in part, it's educating the promotion and tenure committees about what the meaning of open access is. It is catching fire because you don't need as many resources. You need some, but you don't need as many resources as if you had a mail-out journal. Because with the online access, with the web, everything is a lot easier. So making something available to one person is the same as making it available to one million. In the academy and in the funders, particularly the public funders, they now are mandating that if we're funding you, you need to ensure that your content that you produce from our funds is under some sort of open access agreement. So that's a big one. So things are changing whether traditional publishers like them or not.